guys, good morning. I just wanna come and give you an encouraging word to remember to give God praise, to lift up your voice, the Bible says, like a trumpet. Some people are so quiet with their praise, and I do realize there's all type of praise, but the Lord commands us in his word that we are to open up our mouth and give thanksgiving. There's power in your sound when you give Lord the glory. We have to be careful that we don't get so shy and so timid and so conservative and so dignified in our worship that we don't give God praise. Remember that King David danced his clothes off. He was worshiping the Lord so hard and faithfully. But the woman that he was married to his wife at the time, Mikhail, David's daughter, King Saul, keep in mind, religious people, we've been talking about this all week. This is why it's important to have relationship. It's so different than rituals and religion. You see, Mikhail condemned David for his dancing. She said, why does it take all that? You're dancing your clothes out. You're out there undignified. You're a king for heaven's sake. Act like it. She condemned his worship. She was indignified, just like the disciples who condemned the woman with the alabaster box. God has taken us somewhere today. Never let someone condemn your worship. Never let someone get in the way of your praise. Open up your mouth. You see, Mikhail did a critical mistake that day. And the scripture said, because of her condemnation of David's worship, it left her barren without child. You have to be so very careful not to condemn things you don't understand. Because she condemned his worship, because she got upset by his praise, she thought that she was being, you know, salty with David and correcting him, but the Lord corrected her. And she ended up not having children. So you have to be very careful. Our praise, God values it. And he will not let anyone mock his servants, his children of God, for lifting up their voice, for praising and honoring him. He will not let that go. And so I just came to tell you that if the rocks will cry out, why won't you? The Bible teaches that even the wind and the waves obey. It says, I was reading Psalm 65 and it talks about praise awaiting the Father, praise awaiting God in Zion. And this just, you know, really blessed me when it said in verse 12, the grasslands of the wilderness overflow, the hills are clothed with gladness, the meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing, even the grass, even the meadows, all of nature, even the rocks cry out to God. How much more for you and I who are created in his image. Don't let baseball and football and all of these other arenas take your praise. You have all the praise. You can shout. You can say, way to go. Good job. But then you get in church and you're quiet as a mouse, right? Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Give God praise. Talk about what he's doing for you. Share the glory. Yeah, people can see it in your life, right? People know when they meet a person of God, but we're also to talk about him. We're also about to, we also should testify of the goodness of God so that people can not only see it, but they can hear and know who you serve, right? We get so excited about every other thing. We can sell products. We can sell things, everything but Jesus, right? And that's what's most important for us to be a soul winner for Christ. So I pray that God helps us to abandon any spirit where we feel like we cannot lift up our voice, where we're ashamed to lift up our voice, or we're ashamed to talk about Christ. I pray that God will give you the unction to speak of his name, to praise him and to worship him because he is worthy, right? All right, guys, remember you are the head, not the tail, above only, never beneath. I love you. Happy Friday. I pray that you all have a blessed day. Know that I'm praying for you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your prayers and your encouragement. We are a community that encourage one another in Christ. We lift each other up in prayer. And I thank you. Know that you're being prayed for. This is my number one prayer that God will open up your eyes to the wisdom and the knowledge that in the understanding that is in Christ Jesus and that you will gain more knowledge in him and you will walk in a deeper relationship with Christ that will take you from religion to relationship. That is my prayer in Jesus name. I thank you. I love you all. Have a blessed day.